So this is July 5th, 2011. This is the day before the seventh anniversary of FM Talk 101.1 WZTK. Let's take a slight tour of the outside of the building before we go inside. Oh boy. As you can see, decrepit, revolting, in a state of disrepair. Uh, there you go. That's a good look at that. That's a good look at that. People who run things really haven't taken a lot of pride in this, now have they? Let's go ahead and take a look around the, the side here. You're going to see a lot more of the same. Really awful. Let's pan out and get a big look at the front door here. Kind of see what you're rolling into. Yep, this is what we had to come to every day, and boy, I gotta tell you, it was kind of demoralizing rolling up on this one. Yeah, there you go. That kind of looks like mold, doesn't it? I don't know. More of the same there. Just the general notion of somebody who doesn't give a crap. If you were, if your kid came to you and said, "Hey, mom, dad, I got a job at this company. I want you to come look at the building," and then you saw this, would you tell him, "Man, you got to take this job"? Probably not. Well, here's the key. Let's go on in, shall we? Oops, must be unlocked. It's unrare. It's kind of rare. There's the reception area. Hey, how are you? Oh, how are things? Let's go back over here and down the hallway. All right. You don't see this at a lot of professional grade broadcasting buildings. <laughs> a lot of wires, telephone wires. Hard to see them because that's kind of dark. But that's uh, a what is that? A PBX board? Is that what they call that? Yes. Yeah, it's kind of exposed. Not a lot of those in a lot of your bigger stations. Over here is where some transmission work is. This is a uh, this is probably a sign of not great engineering. But it's just kind of built up over the years now, hasn't it? These are exposed. You can kind of see those. Not so great. That happens. All right. Let's go to the actual broadcasting facilities. When I came in today, there was a minor change. Um, usually when we broadcast, I'm sitting where David is, and Brad's over here. We'll start over here. This is where Brad would normally sit. Rich Brenner was actually sitting here today. And because a shelf was raised... There's no chance that he has, that's where I would be. You see David's neck, and you can't really see the top of his head. That's where I normally sit. David's actually a little bit taller than me. So if I go here, I can sort of see his head. If I go down here, I can sort of see him here. But otherwise, no. It seems as though the person who did that really didn't have... I don't know, radio broadcasters in mind. Now, in a moment, David and I will switch and I'll show you how difficult it was for me to see anything that was going on in this room. Um, what else can I show you? Yeah. Yeah. I just think there are a lot of bosses that would have a lot more pride than letting their employees work in a place with stuff like this. You see that? This kind of happens. There's another view into that that room that we were just in and you can see some more of the exposed cables just kind of running all over the place. Doesn't happen in a lot of stations. And I've worked at good ones and bad ones. Uh, so, Nick's going to start some hangouts. 
Yeah. I'm going to ma ask you to go over there in a moment. Don't, dude. What are you doing? We I'm, need to be talking about... I'm filming. I'm Why? recording so that people can know how wonderful it was for us to work here. We still work here. Well, but this is on, on, this is in arrears. When I show this video to people, we won't work here anymore. You can see this again. and That's a sign of not good engineering. I'm not one of your big engineering guys. I didn't go to an engineering school like Purdue or one of the really good ones. Cannot be a fair. <laughs> you can see. This doesn't happen at a lot of other stations. Well, they, they built it for six months. Yeah. And, it, it yeah. Months. and what about the 20 years before that? Now, this is where David normally sits. <laughs> This is where I, where David's sitting is now, that's where I normally would sit. Yeah. Now, before yesterday, this was actually down here, right about there. So you can easily see over it through this window into the person to the next room next door, and you can see the other person, and you can communicate with them. Yeah, it's kind of like when Connie <laughs> changed Jerry's apartment. <laughs> that's right. A little, uh... I can make the time up to you in any number of ways, Jerry. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna once David gets back into programming here in just about oh 60 seconds or so I hope we will we'll show you exactly what it looked like. No, we won't. Yeah, we will. No, we won't. You're gonna get over there, and I'm gonna show you how I couldn't see a thing. How difficult it was to see stuff. Again, let's take a look at some of the. It's hard to see because it's dark over there, but those are wires. You got a flashlight? These are wires and exposed boards and. All sorts of cable that just kind of runs all over the place. Do you have a cheap set of cables? Are you the phone with Phil? <laughs> no, of course not. It's like you're walking around uh, showing the... This man, look at this. I'm going to conference you in. <laughs> See, nobody in management really cares. Obviously, if anybody in management cared, this stuff wouldn't happen. This is the AM studio. They're actually in a little bit better shape than we are. You don't find... Well, there's a little bit of cable up there. A little bit of that. It's not bad. We got a nice little board there. There's a monitor. There's another monitor. Some more components over there. See, you see, if you're right here, it'll be very difficult to be able to see in the next room and see anything. Ah, it'll be really not easy at all to do that. All right, David. I would really appreciate if you would just go on and move in there so that we can demonstrate exactly what I was looking at this morning. <laughs> Well, we're not. Look at those exposed cables. Look at those. Through the ceiling. All right. You move over there where Brad would normally be. No! Get over there! Get over there just for a second. Come on! All right. This is this is really literally the view I have. You obviously have tweets over English. Okay? There's there's a, there's a room over there where people are talking. Yeah, there's a room over there. Okay? There's there's a there's a room over there with people. That's where Brad would normally be sitting. <laughs> so this is, I could go down here. And I could sort of see, <laughs> or I could stand. <laughs> you see, to me, that's not really designed with the end user in line. These are things that we had to deal with, folks. I hope you enjoy it.